flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and these are not flowers. I am getting ready for my seedling sale and these are all the things that I've been prepping for the last three, about three months now. Lots of stuff. We've got some zucchini squash. We have a lot of cut flower plugs because I have a lot of people coming. And look at my marigolds, they're very merry. Lots of stuff, look at those dahlias. I've potted up for sale. Some cafe au lait's in there, some other stuff in there. Lots of tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. We've got snapdragons, we've got zinnias. Lots of stuff. So I actually have some family members who have been helping me this week. My mom was a huge help and my sister helped me out a lot. And I also have my grandfather and my uncle coming over today with my mother to help me create some labels and just kind of finalize everything because the sale is two days away. My first assistant is here. My friend Lisa is coming to help me move the tables outside because I cannot do it on my own. Okay, I have showered and my helpers are here. Nicole, I did 17. Nicole, you said there was 18. Yeah. What you doing, Papa? Yeah, I'm doing mix. Zen mix over here. Zen mix. I have my my labelers over here. My Papa and my Uncle Gerg, also known as Uncle Greg. What are you doing? Same I got, thing? I got Zen mix going. We're going to need 20 at least. So. And we have some munchy chips. Mm. Munchy. For snacks. Yeah, right here. Mom's doing inventory. So there's there are plants everywhere. Mom is... Um, learning what baby seedlings look like. They look like carrot tops. They do look like carrot tops. I'm panicking about the sun, so I, I put my tent up and mom and I just moved everything under the shade. This is not everything. Um, there's stuff in the back of the Kubota and then oop, over there we lined that just so everything's in the shade and then the stuff that's also in the garage. C-O-L-E-U-S. Yep. So for the seedling sale, I have potted dahlias. I started these a couple of months ago. For instance, this, this is a Joey Morella dahlia. It already has a bud on it. So I have probably a dozen of these available. Actually, no, I think I have 20. I think I have 20 potted dahlias available. I did have, I think 24, 25 total, but the other ones um, were just starting to sprout. They were really little, little. So I only brought out the ones that were actually a nice size for people to purchase. So I have, Cafe au lait, Joey Morella, and then some of the sugar plum mixtures, the purples and oranges that I grew last year. So last night we set up all the tables for the seedling sale. I picked up this tent. It's a nice 20 by 10 tent, totally needed it. So on top of the dahlias, I have a lot of other cut flower seedlings by popular demand. People wanted to come here last year when they came to my seedling sale. They expected a lot more in the way of flower seedlings. And all I had last year were zinnias. So this year I have some Lysianthus, Snapdragons, Asters, Ageratum, uh, what else, Zinnias, Cosmos, some Lavender Asters, those are so gorgeous. And then, uh, let me see, and some Gonfrina. Can't forget about those. Anyway, really fun stuff. A lot of people pre-ordered, which was awesome. I used Local Line. It's a website that you can use to kind of organize your orders, and I'll talk about that coming up in a later video. But in the meantime, we have tomatoes, we have cucumber squash, zucchinis, all of the stuff. So hopefully I have a good turnout, but I am having, at the same time, a bouquet bar on the porch. So here's the porch and that's where I will be stationed for the entire morning. It's just from nine to 12 and I will be doing just wrapping, stapling all the bouquets and handling that process. So I'm very excited. We will see how the morning goes. It's only 6.30 in the morning now. My sale starts at nine. My mother-in-law is gonna get here at seven. She lives close by. My mom lives a little further away. She's coming at eight o'clock and uh, my father-in-law is doing my CSA delivery for me this morning. So I have CSA bouquets to make as well. So I gave the option this week to my members to either um, pick up here at the farm and come and attend the bouquet bar or pick up at their normal pickup spot. So about half of them are coming here and the other half are, are picking up at the normal spot. So I have to make those bouquets. My father-in-law is gonna bring them there this morning. And the owner of the bakery also did a pre-order of my seedling sale. So we're gonna deliver his vegetable order. I'm excited because he's gonna use those veggies in his uh, items at the bakery. Peppers, did I say peppers? I got lots of peppers. Jalapenos, long hats, bell peppers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. Marigolds. I just want to show you guys the marigolds for a second. 
look at these six packs of marigolds. And actually, I have to thank one of my viewers. She sent in home collected seeds of these French red marigolds. And I can't remember at this time who sent these, but whoever sent these home collected, thank you so much. They're beautiful and they smell Oh, amazing. I know, people are torn. Some people love marigolds, some people hate them, but I'm one of those who love it. And I do have more in the garage for backup. I just don't have enough tables to have everything out here at once. So I have more of all of the cut flowers. So as things sell, we'll be able to pull stuff out of the garage to replenish it. I'm so excited. I'm just noticing the leaves here are popping. Guys, remember three weeks ago we had a foot of snow? <laughs> the leaves are finally popping. I'm gonna get a shot of that right there because that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, I have herbs too. That's basil, sage, dill, parsley, cilantro, and there's some kale on the end too. Check out these basil plants though. <laughs> oh, they're, they're hugging each other. Yeah, oh my goodness. They're gonna be able to cut right off of it right away and then have it sprout up from the bottom even more. Mmm, smells so good. Five boxes in the back of the Okay. Three down. It's 8.41 and some people are showing up. We don't open until nine. Ban your stations. So it's about 10 minutes to nine. I'm gonna give my mother this camera and we are gonna see the seedling sale today through mom cam because last year I was so busy that I couldn't record anything. So I'm handing over the reins to her and she's going to capture some sights and sounds of the seedling sale today. Are you ready to do mom cam? Oh my God, yes, I hope I can do it correctly. I, told, I was telling people that I couldn't, I was so busy last year that I didn't, wasn't able to record anything. So mom cam, mom cam. Brad Pitt cam. Where's Brad Pitt? There he is. Record. Okay. okay. And that's recording. <laughs> and then you hit it again. Hi, this is mom cam. And Nicole told me not to video too much, but I just thought it was, oh, she knows I'm doing it. Hmm. I just thought it's pretty cool. These people came from Buffalo. And there's Penny. She's the cash girl. This is the mom cam again. Tulip bar is pretty popular. So I gotta look at this little kid because his daddy was in school with my daughter Nicole. Yep. Cooper! Hi Cooper! Have a good time Cooper! Mom cam again. It's pretty exciting. People are coming. For things that my daughter started with little seeds. That's pretty cool. Hey, look what I bought you. Look what I bought you, Jeff. <laughs> she wrote instructions on the back so that way you know the spacing Lovely. and how deep, okay? The glads are popular. I can't help it. I am just drawn to the little kids and I see this cutest little girl up here. She is a sweet little thing, isn't she? Two little girls just staring each other down. <laughs> I think they probably want to be friends, maybe flower friends. It's more than just flower friends, it's flower family. Okay, I'm with Cooper now. I just took him to see the uh, tractor and the tires are way bigger than him. And he likes the, what did you call that? A bucket? He likes the bucket. So that was pretty cool. He got his a close up look at that tractor. Car. And another car, yes. And there's another little tiny shopper right there. And another one. Look at her. Hi. Can you wait? Mommy is a rock star. This is the mom cam again. I'm not too steady with the camera, but I don't think I'm too bad either. Hi. 
And this is the porch view because I need to sit for a minute and get a drink of water. It's pretty darn hot out here. And uh, I love these tulips. How are we doing, Mom Pam? Uh, well, if you need to delete stuff, go right ahead. I won't be upset. Andrea, but we're going to change sunglasses. Here. Okay. okay. So my cousin Andre, we're going to swap. Yes, right? I think it's time. Uh oh. We always have to wear our funky sunglasses. Oh, I like them both on both okay? of you. Yeah. They look awesome. Let okay, me get I love them. Okay. Yeah. Straight back. Okay. Crazy. Although those do look really cute on you. They did. They look good. They match your outfit, okay. too. I'm getting out of So the gladiolas were pretty popular. So we're bagging up a few more. She's a dirty woman. Are those the king peppers spicy? I don't know. I think they're like a bell pepper, but I, I could ask Nicole to be sure. Bye, guys. I thought, oh my gosh, I knew that was a relative of mine. Let's see. How's business, Penny? See, I've been sitting on the porch watching you work your butt off. <laughs> okay, let's see if the goofies here are here. Oh, look who's here. It's Grandpa. Not just now. I, I, uh, you know, once a week, twice a week, I said that. All right, we're on the mom hey, cam again. Uh, Amanda just brought me some coffee. From, no. Uh, where's Spill Manoa? the tea. Spill what the is tea. it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Spill the tea cafe in Manoa. Oh. It's railroad roasters. They roast their own. Thank you so much. Woo. All right. All right. Hello. We're going to interview Grandpa. Ask him what his favorite, like, recipe for long hots and stuff. What's your favorite recipe for long hots, Grandpa? If you're really interested, and I love long hots the, i got these in a restaurant in town and the way they did it is the way i do it now is you roast them in the oven just take them home rinse them off leave the stems on and everything and just throw a little oil and seasoning on top salt and pepper and garlic throw them in the oven until they will until I don't know how to tell. Until they wilt and get a little <laughs> of tan, you know, almost burnt. And I love them that way. Put them in a sandwich. Ooh, and you'll never yummy. cook them any other way. Yeah. Look at this kid. I love him to pieces. What the heck? We're going to be on television. That looks comfy. She's comfortable. I haven't seen Lily in a long time. What do you think you are, a celebrity? Is that what she told you? Um, I hang on to her shirt tails as tightly as I can. <laughs> How was your experience with mom cam? Uh, I was very nervous, but I think I did a pretty good job. I hope there's some stuff you can use. Well, we'll let we'll let the jury decide. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll let them be the verdict. So thank you for mom camming for me. Yep, no problem. Okay, love you. Bye, love you too. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. What? an amazing day. I have to thank all of the people who showed up to my bouquet bar and all the people who showed up to the seedling sale and all of my helpers that I've had for months, really. I mean, you know, it's, it's a lot of work putting together the things between starting the seeds, keeping everything watered, keeping everything alive, keeping everything fertilized. The hardening off process takes a long time and it definitely takes a lot to prep for a sale like this, but it was very successful. Uh, the income was twice from the year before, so I doubled the amount of money that I made from the year before at my seedling sale. And I think that had a lot to do with the fact that I did have a bouquet bar. And I honestly, I was more targeted in what I was offering this year instead of such a wide variety of things. And adding things like the bulbs and the, the dahlias, those things really made a difference because people are expecting to see things related to flowers when they come to Flower Hill Farm. So thank you guys so much for everything. And for the people who traveled from far away just to come and visit at Flower Hill Farm. I totally appreciate it. I already have huge plans for next year. I was super happy that a ton of people were commenting about how colorful my front porch was. It was the first time that people have been here and the stuff that I planted last fall from Brex is in full bloom. The tulips, the hyacinth, the daffodils, everything is looking really great and it definitely added a beautiful pop of color to the front porch and people were noticing. So thank you Brex. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. Coolius, 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 coolius. It's coolius. It's coolius.
It's been a long day for him. <laughs> You're snoring. It's going to be a lot of editing. It's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of editing. No yeah. swear words. Okay. That's all I'm proud of. Shut it off. Shut it off.